All right, welcome everybody. I think we'll go ahead and get started. I think most everybody who's joining us is here. People can join um, in um, as we're getting everything started. So thank you so much, first off, for coming to um, our third Chubby's Top Tips webinars. We're so excited to have you here and that you got the email and saw us on Instagram and have decided to join us today. Um, first off, my name is Kayla Ward and I'm a NOTA graduate intern for Titan Orientation Programs and I will get us started for today. Uh, the Tuffy's Top Tips webinars are all focused on the student experience and they're all student led. So we have wonderful orientation leaders with you here today to give you the inside scoop on all things life at CSUF. Um, thank you so much for coming. We're really happy to have you here. Uh, a few things before we get right into it, I would just wanna go over some logistical pieces. So as I was saying before, and some of you have already found, there's a chat feature. So you can use the chat feature to um, say, hey, start a little side conversation, make a comment. Sometimes we'll put links in there related to the things that we're talking about. So you can find those resources immediately as we're talking about them in the chat. And then we have a question and answer feature. So if you have a question, we have people ready there to answer your questions um, about this information. If you have a question about orientation things, we're here to help you with that. So please put your questions in the Q&A feature. Um, that way we can keep track of them easily and then we can have all the fun side conversations in the chat. So questions in the Q&A please and then the chat for all the fun stuff. Of course, your questions are fun also. Um, and then we're also going to give like a short presentation in the beginning and then the last 30 minutes or so is going to be reserved for a QA and a um, with our orientation leaders as panelists. So we have some questions ready for them about life at CSUF, but we'll also take questions that you have that you'd like to pose to the panelists as well. So um, a lot of the end portion will be orientation leaders sharing their own personal experiences and giving you all those Tuffy's top tips. So. Um, before we get right into the presentation, I'd like to introduce our presenters for the day. Um, so, Marianne, why don't you go ahead and get us started. We'll do our name and our pronouns, um, what year we are in our major, and then some of our involvements. Hello, everyone. My name is Marianne, and I am currently a third year Going into my third year as a math major, concentration in education, I saw that someone in there is also majoring in math. Shout out to you. Um, my pronouns are she, her, hers, and at Cal State Fullerton, I um, serve as a student coordinator for TOPS, or Titan Orientation Programs, and I'm also part of Titan Future Teachers. And now, Sammy, go ahead and go. Hey, everyone. I'm Sammy Sanchez. My pronouns are she, her, hers. I'm a psychology major. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> I'm going into my fourth year. I'm involved in uh, the research department in psychology, and I'm also, of course, an orientation leader. So I'll pass it off to Estefania. Hi, everyone. My name is Estefania. I'm a third year liberal studies major. My pronouns are she, her, and hers. Um, some of my involvements on campus include being a part of the Best Buddies Club, being a part of Time Future Teachers, and of course, being an orientation leader. I'll hand it over to Elisa. Hi everybody, my name is Elisa. I'm going into my third year at Cal State Fullerton. Like I said, I'm a communications major with a concentration in public relations. Um, my pronouns are she, her, and uh, I also have a marketing minor and a philosophy minor, as well as something I'm involved with on campus. I'm in our, uh, our campus's PRSSA chapter, which is Public Relations Student Society of America. And I currently hold a board position. I'll be the VP of Professional Development. And with that, I'll pass it over to Cass. All right, hey everybody, I'm Cassandra Valadez. My pronouns are she and her. I'm a second year recently declared public health major on campus. I work with TOPS as an orientation leader and as, with ASI as a setup crew assistant. I'll go ahead and pass it off to Ming. Hi everyone, my name is Ming Wang and I just graduated with a Bachelor of Arts degree in uh, music with a minor in marketing. So uh, some of my campus involvement include uh, being your orientation leader last summer as well as this summer, uh, being a telephone interviewer um, at our social science research center 
as well as singing in uh, multiple different choirs on campus, like the Cal State Fullerton Concert Choir and University Singer. So now I will pass it on to the next. All right, and now thank you. Those were our presenters for the day. And now we'll go ahead and introduce our panelists and those who are helping us as chat facilitators today. Hello, everyone. My name is Brian. I'm going to be a panelist for today. My, uh, my major is political science and I'm about to add a minor in economics. Uh, my pronouns are he, him, his, and a few of my campus involvements involve, or include being an orientation leader and a part of student life and leadership, which is the department on campus which handles everything from clubs to sports clubs and community service. So I'll go ahead and hand it off to Greg. Hello everyone, my name is Greg. Uh, my pronouns are he, him, and his. I'm a criminal justice major and a philosophy major here at Cal State Fullerton. I'm going into my fifth year and some campus involvements that I have are being part of the Pre-Law Society as well as the Criminal Justice Student Association. And I'll pass it on to Jessica. Thanks, Greg. Hey, my name is Jessica. My pronouns are she, her, hers. I'm going into my fourth year here at Cal State Fullerton as a communications major with an emphasis in public relations. Some campus involvements I have are being a part of PRCSA as an active member, being an orientation leader, and also being a part of the Creative Writing Club on campus. I'm gonna go ahead and pass it on to Gabby. Hi everybody, my name is Gabby. My pronouns are they, them. I'm a third year transfer student um, majoring in psychology. Uh, since I've been at Cal State Fullerton, I've been involved in the Humanities and Social Sciences Interclub Council and the Latinx Student Psychological Association. I'll go ahead and pass it off to Taylor. Hey everybody, I'm Taylor. It is gonna be my second year at Cal State Fullerton and I'm currently studying computer science. Um, some things I'm involved in is the WISE program, which is the Women in Computer Science and Engineering, as well as TOPS, which is the Titan Orientation Program. Uh, Carl, take it away. <laughs> All right, hello everyone. My name is Carl. I pro I pronounce he, his, him. I'm a bio major. Shout out to the bio majors in the chat. And uh, yeah, and I'll be going to my fourth year. And a few things I'm involved in campuses, campus is is that I am, I am part of the student government, which is called the AS um, Associated Students Incorporated. And I'll be your board directors or the student representative, I guess, for the Natural Science and Mathematics um, College. And I'm also part of, of a professional biology fraternity called Beta Sigma Omega. And then, yeah, and I'm an orientation leader. So. Awesome. Thank you everyone so much for introducing yourselves. Feel free to introduce um, for our attendees, feel free to introduce yourselves in the chat as well. Um, but we'll revisit, revisit, excuse me, our panelists at the end, um, like I said earlier, with the questions we have. But without further ado, I'll pass it off to Sammy so she can get into our presentation for today. All righty. Hey, everyone. Welcome to the Life at Cal State Fullerton webinar. In today's session, we'll be talking about the different resources new students can utilize on and off campus. From basic needs to food hotspots, we've got your answers here. So without further ado, we'll get started. Okay, so first we're gonna be talking about the Student Recreation Center or Student Rec or SRC as it's better known. Um, it's located behind the Titan Student Union and right next to the State College parking structure. It's essentially our student gym. Membership is included with tuition. However, some services like towel services, um, lockers and certain programs are paid for out of pocket. The first floor is a rock wall. You can climb with instructors there. Um, there's free weights, basketball courts, uh, locker rooms, and a martial arts studio and a pool deck. The second floor, we have an indoor track. Um, a little tip about the indoor track, when you get up there, look at the sign that's there because depending on what day of the, what day of the week it is, is, is specified which way you'll run. So I believe Monday, Wednesday, Friday is one way and then Tuesday, Thursday is the other way. And that's just to prevent people traffic from running two different directions. It's great. <laughs> then we have a cardio room, which has step machines, treadmills, ellipticals, cycling, all that fun stuff. Um, then we have racquetball courts and dance and cycling studios. And there's also sporadic yoga mats and kettlebells, benches all over um, the rec center to take advantage of if you don't necessarily want to use a machine. Um, another tip I have is to register online first, and I'll drop the link in the chat for that. This way, all you have to do when you get to the rec center is sign some waivers, and then you'll be ready to work out. Um, also, download the Titan Rec app. 
um, that's how you get you're able to get in you they scan your membership code and then you, you just go in um, and you can also use the app to look for intramural sports to participate in um, instructional classes info on the SRC and a lot more next slide please so not only should you be taking care of your physical health at Cal State Fullerton, but I think more importantly, your mental health. So now I'll be talking about CAPS, which is the Counseling and Psychological Services. This is located at the Student Health and Counseling Center, which is between the Titan Gymnasium, which isn't the same as the SRC, totally different building, and um, the Engineering and Computer Science buildings. They have APA accredited therapists that offer a variety of counseling services, and this ranges from individual couples and group counseling. Um, some of the topics that they have more of a caseload with include stress management, adjusting co to college life, mental well-being, and identity struggles, and of course a lot more than that. Um, this is another service that's included with tuition, so there's no extra payment. However, they will charge if you miss a session or if you cancel your session less than four hours prior to, to the scheduled time. And they also have wellness workshops, which I have utilized for sleep specifically, and they are amazing. Um, they also have ones for art, stress, um, kind of like keeping up with your thoughts, your identity, etc. And I'll drop the link for that in the chat too, for those of you who are interested in counseling services. Um, they are accepting online appointments for current students. Okay, everyone, I'll be talking about the Arboretum that is located on our campus and we're so lucky to have. It is right next to the baseball field and right behind housing. It is a 26 acre botanical garden featuring a variety of plants from around the world. And there's a tons of events happening all the time. There's something called the Veggie Palooza. And then you can always find yourself um, attending it in a field trip for your biology class, perhaps. It's just a great way to take a nice study break, study there. Um, it just features so many different types of trees, shade. Um, there's ponds with turtles in it. So it's an awesome thing that we get to have on campus. Then I will be talking about the Career Center, which is an amazing resource that we also get to have. It offers a variety of amenities, such as jobs and internships. You can actually register for um, time connection so you can get jobs on and off campus um, and as well as internships. You can just answer a few questions and it kind of leads you right where you need to be and find everything you need. Um, as well as they offer slices, this program called Slice of Advice and it's an alumni, an, an alumni panel in which um, each, each time there's a different theme and you get to just answer they, the alumni get to answer questions and then um, you get to connect with them right after and it's a really great resources and you learn a lot as well as re resumes and cover letters um, the career center actually lets reviews them with you and lets you know what kind of the changes you should make the resources are directly on the website as well i'll drop that link so you can kind of explore and then last but not least they also offer workshops anywhere from LinkedIn to getting ready for a career fair, all those different types of things. They actually have a calendar with every single workshop, workshop they're gonna be doing throughout the semester. So it'd be a good idea to write down the ones you can attend. Okay, next I'll be talking about Tuffy's Basic Needs Center. This is located in McCarthy Hall 143. And this serves as a resource for students that may have difficulty obtaining basic needs like housing, food, clothes, etc. And they provide these essentials. So if you look at the slide, um, there are the two goals that they have. The first is to provide Cal State Fullerton students with support via food, short-term housing, hygiene products, clothing, and emergency grant funds. And the second is to provide students with ongoing guidance and assistance through both on-campus resources and off-campus community social services. Now there are certain requirements students have to meet um, to be eligible for housing, food, and emergency grants. And these requirements can be found at the website, which I'll drop in the chat. Um, and if you're able to, you can also donate items. So they accept things like deodorant, shampoo, conditioners, um, razors, washcloth, and they even accept professional attire for those students who may not have access to business attire, especially being in, at a business school and having certain things that you should dress a little more professionally for, you can absolutely donate that. And they are currently serving students virtually, 
And um, you can also donate through that same website. Okay, so I'm going to go over some sporting events that we have at CSUF. Um, you can get all the information on all of our sporting events at FullertonTitans.com. And the website has schedules, a way to buy tickets, information about parking, and uh, other information about our teams and events. This website also includes a section that talks about CSUF traditions, which I highly recommend checking out. It includes the story behind our mascot, our fight song at games, our Hall of Fame, and more information, information about the history of athletics at CSUF, as well as a list of alumni that have competed in the Olympics in the past. And I'm sorry to do this. I do have to do this joke. It's obligatory. But um, we do have an undefeated football team. And that's because we don't actually have a football team, but they're definitely undefeated. And with that, I'm gonna move on to talking about food. Okay, so for meals on campus, you can get food at the Titan Student Union, as well as Carl's Jr., which is located near Gordon Hall, which formerly used to be known as uh, University Hall. And there's also food trucks near the Humanities Building. For snacking on campus, you've got the Yum, which is located inside of the Titan Student Union. And also Titan Shops has um, a section where you can buy snacks. And both of those places also sell scantrons, uh, pens and pencils or calculators or anytime you need something in a, pit, in a pinch, I definitely recommend, recommend checking them out as well. For a caffeine fix, there's Starbucks at the Titans Union, the library, and our business building, which is in the Halo. And my personal favorite, which is Aloha Java, I highly recommend their chai lattes. I've also heard that their matcha lattes are also really good. As for housing, uh, we have the gastronome, and we'll go into more detail about that. And also the restaurants that we have at the Titan Student Union, it includes Panda Express, Baja Fresh Express, The Fresh Kitchen, Togo's Pyology, Hibachi-san, and also Juice It Up, which, shell, which sells uh, smoothies and acai bowls. And next, I'm gonna talk about uh, food off campus, which we have for quick bite options. We have the Flame Broiler, The Habit, Panera Bread, Chipotle, and Witch Witch, which, which is a sandwich shop uh, located near campus. Uh, most of them are within walking distance, so if you want to leave your car on campus and want to go grab a bite to eat and then come back, you totally can. Or let's say that you wanted to drive off campus for a little bit, grab a bite to eat, let's say you have more time to kill, um, you could definitely do that as well. And for the restaurants, we have What's Up Min, which is a ramen place, one of my personal favorites, as well as Antonella's Surf and Turf Grill, which I've heard has some pretty good fish tacos. So if you like fish tacos, I recommend them as well. Thai basil, which is one of our one of our OL's favorite places to eat right now. Uh, Noodle Street and In-N-Out is close by as well. For beverages, we have Phil's Coffee as well as Tierra Mia, which if you're a commuter, I highly recommend stopping by Tierra Mia. It's really close to the 91 freeway exit. And also they have a drive through I recommend their chata lattes and um, I usually get their chai lattes too. If you can tell, I have a trend. Um, for Bova, we've got Share Tea, Zero Express and Kung Fu Tea nearby. I recommend those places as well. For dessert, there's Afters, which is an ice cream place. And oftentimes whenever I stop at Afters, I run into a group that's coming from the housing at Cal State Fullerton and sometimes they make late night trips to grab some ice cream on uh, before they head back to housing. As well as the 85 Degree Bakery, uh, Yogurt Land, and The Loop, which is kind of a little bit farther away from Cal State Fullerton, but one of the OLs also recommended it, so I put it on our list. So next I'll be talking about our on-campus food pickup and delivery ordering system. Uh, we do this through the Grubhub app. And this is an online ordering system that allows students to order food ahead of time before they stop by to pick it up. Um, you can pick up uh, food from the restaurants at the TSU, the Carl's Jr. near Gordon Hall, like I mentioned earlier, and any of the Starbucks locations on campus. And each spot has a separate place to pick up your food. So, um, and it's usually indicated by signage. So definitely make sure you're keeping an eye out for that. And with that, I will pass along to our next presentation. 
All right, so I'll be going over campus housing. So housing options include the residence halls and apartments. The residence halls, ha the residence halls house about 1,062 incoming freshmen, and there is an option between a double or triple room. Residence buildings are listed below, but my personal favorite and home for my first year at Fullerton is Pine. The residence buildings were also recently built in 2011 and first to be awarded the Platinum LEED certification in California. So the residence halls compared to the apartments are more updated and modern. The apartments do house more than 800 students that are continuing or transfers. And for the apartments, there is an option of single or double apartments that are listed below as well. All right, so now diving deeper to the, into the residence halls, they offer double or triple room. So the double room is shared between two students, whereas the triple is shared between three students. And each floor contains community bathrooms that have two sinks, two stalls, and two private showers. There are also different bathrooms based on your preference, including men's, ladies, and a gender, neut a gender neutral bathroom. Within the, on the floor of the buildings, there are also community space community spaces, there's an active room, which is basically the floor's living room, and two study rooms, a medium-sized one and a small one. My floor called it the fishbowl because of how small it was. And on each floor, there's also a resident assistant or RA. They coordinate activities for the residents and inform the students on their floor about different events, resources, and opportunities available to them on campus. Next slide, okay. All right, so for the apartments, they offer single or a double option. The single apartment is a four bedroom apartment that houses four residents, four residents and all residents get their own room. The double apartment is a three housing six and room is between all bathrooms, a living room, dining room, and fully furnished. So they include sofas, a dining room table with chairs, and a refrigerator and microwave. Next slide, please. All right. So within the residence halls and apartments and theme communities, based on your college or preference, the theme communities provide students that are involved with additional connections and resources, as well as, well as a stronger sense of community and inclusivity. Between a theme community is also option. All right, so housing amenities. Within the housing community, there is the gastronome, which requires a meal plan for rents. In the halls, there are two options, a five-day or a seven-day meal plan. And the apartment residents have a few more options, including an 80 block or 112 block, which are basically swipes that you can just get in and get whatever you'd like to eat and they also have the option of the five or seven day meal plan. And prices do vary between um, the different meal plans. Other food options within the housing community are the community market on the first floor of Pine and the late night cafe on the side of the gastronome. There's also the academic resource center. It's a computer lab located near the site's courts offering exact computers and a discounted printing price. So next, I guess it's me, I'll be talking a little bit about uh, live entertainment on, at Cal State Fullerton. So there were mainly two types of um, live performances and entertainments and stuff like that um, in Cal State Fullerton. Ones that are offered by the College of the Arts, uh, which was the college that I was in since I was a music major. And the other type is um, events and concerts offered by um, Associate Student Inc., which is our um, student government. So the College of the Arts include a school of music, a theater departments and dance departments. We have a um, lot of uh, different kinds of productions and um, you know, events going on in the College of the Arts. For School of Music, you will be able to uh, see some opera performances, choir, orchestra, student recital, and special concerts offered by either um, guest artists or our faculties and then for the theater departments every year they produce uh, several musicals and plays like in the whole western region um, like several of our um, 
so several of our graduates ended up playing on Broadway and stuff like that. So uh, they are really good. And our dance department also has some uh, dance showcase from time to time. And then for our associate uh, ASI, uh, Associate Student Inc., we have the concerts under the start spring semesters. Uh, they are usually very popular and a spring concert also usually features um, guest artists uh, that are pretty uh, popular uh, usually. So um, keep your eyes out on that uh, for their next event. And we also have uh, different film screenings every week uh, in TSU, as well as karaoke and open mic events um, near the uh, TSU uh, Piazza and some special events planned by our ASI um, student government. So for all of these event information uh, for ASI, you can go onto their website and look for ASI programming and you'll be able to find all of the event listing. And for the College of the Arts events, um, you can buy tickets either at the box office, which is located um, at the Performing Arts Center right next to the Nugwood uh, parking structure, or you can go onto their website uh, to buy it and reserve it there. Um, at both ways is fine uh, and you will get a, a special rate for being a Titan. Alrighty then, so now we're going to move on to the Q&A portion and we're going to have some panelists answer these questions. So the first question we have on here is, what are your favorite activities to do in the SRC or the Student Recreation Center? So uh, my favorite activity to do in the Student Recreation Center is just going on the treadmill and running and uh, just forgetting about school and just focusing on my physical well-being is um, it's a really good activity to do and I recommend anyone who likes to run to uh, Go in there and try it out. Something I enjoy doing is getting a group of friends or get, grabbing a friend and heading to the SRC to play badminton. Like you could rent the equipment right there um, in the SRC and it's super fun and relaxing. You can listen to music and it's just like a great atmosphere to relax and get your um, head out of school while still being in school. For me, I've taken part of most everything, but I guess my favorite thing, the where I spend the most time aside from like the, the actual um, weight rooms is playing basketball. I've made a lot of friends there. You can always find a decent amount of people there, but not too many. So you're not waiting to play games forever. But the, still, the competition is pretty nice, but not too over the board. Um, and then, yeah, there's also an upstairs, like um, Greg said, the track is also one of my favorite places to go as well. All right, so the second question is, how have you handled stress in the past? For me, I like to do... You go ahead. Okay. For me, I like to just do a lot of things that I find fun, just things that help take my mind off everything. Like, again, how Greg said, running really helps him uh, just sort of forget about school and just make him focus on what he's doing right there. Same thing for me. I love to play basketball. I love to go running. For me, I love a lot of sports, a lot of athletic um, sort of things to do. So that, on top of just surrounding myself with positive people, people I love, and people who can encourage me to do better and to see the best in me. Um, something I like to do to um, handle stress is just grab a coffee, head out um, off campus. My favorite off campus coffee shop is Bodhi Leaf. Um, it's in Yorba Linda and it's super fun. It's super like um, quiet and just like relaxing. I love the aesthetic of the shop. And I like going with a friend or by myself and sometimes taking some of my school materials if I want to and doing work there. And it's just relaxing, just having a cup of coffee or iced coffee and just chilling there. Yeah, um, so my favorite activity to do to handle stress uh, would be to uh, find a hobby. And my hobby is um, to, uh, like growing and nurturing succulents and houseplants. It really uh, stress, uh, de-stressifies me out and it just, you know, it's nice seeing plants grow. And then I also, um, it was mentioned in the presentation, uh, the counseling and psychological services are also a great resource that you could utilize. And also you at Fullerton is a fantastic resource where you could do reality checks and read articles on how to handle stress and anxiety. Thank you. Does anyone else want to answer this question? Yeah, yeah apply. I can answer. Oh, sorry. <laughs> You, you no, want to go, just, Kayla? I'll go real quickly just because it's related to what uh, 
Greg had just said, we're having a webinar this Friday as well related to um, mental health and taking care of yourself and um, using those services there too. So you should def definitely check out our webinar coming up this Friday for that. Just wanted to plug that real quick. Go ahead, Taylor. <laughs> I was going to say you at Fullerton is really nice. And um, maybe just some way to handle stress is definitely finding somewhere quiet. The library has different floors in which you can go on like, I think the third or the fourth floor where it's, each floor is more quieter than the others. I think that's also good. For me, listening to music has always been a good way to release some stress. And then um, just, I don't know, hanging out with some good friends where you can go get something to eat sometimes. You can go have like little study groups or something. I think that'll be great as well. Awesome, thank you. So the next question is, how has the Career Center helped you? Um, personally, the Career Center has helped me um, get my resume revised and as, well as, as well as my cover letter. Um, the advising team there is super helpful. When you head in, it's super personalized to what your career goals are, what help you need um, precisely. So they, so for example, they help you um, determine what you need to be searching for on Titan Connection. They help you determine like what filters you should be using for your career goals. And that's, what, that's what's helped me in the past, as well as the workshops that they hold. Um, you'll get emails through your Titan email, um, letting you know when workshops will be taking place or what they're about, and they're super helpful. Same thing for me with the resume and cover letter. Uh, cover letter. Before I went to the Career Center, I was, I was going to job interviews and giving them like three page resumes until I went to the Career Center and they helped me chop it down to one. So that was really helpful, as well as just teaching me what a cover letter was because I didn't know. And I would say most importantly, they helped me find out what I want to do in life because I've always wanted to do something related to my political science field, but I changed a lot going from lawyer to politician to now I know what I really want to do is to go into intelligence. Yeah, so the Career Center has helped me uh, by handling like some of my specific needs. I'm a, I want to pursue a career in law and go to law school and the Career Center has hosted events showcasing some sneak peek previews of test masters of uh, course and uh, scored up. Uh, just uh, their their introduction to what um, taking a prep course for the LSAT would be like, and that's it's really great at how the Career Center really um, helps you as like an individual to go beyond and uh, thrive at Cal State Fullerton. Great. Does anyone want to answer this question? I'd like to also throw a response in there, um, specifically for my major for communications. Um, the career center person that's in charge of the comm part, comm department, uh, she actually used to do casting for um, some TV shows and networks. And so uh, you should definitely check her out on LinkedIn. Her name is Cassandra Thompson. She shares a ton of um, resources and she also does different workshops to talk about stuff. Um, so if anyone is a CTVA major, I highly recommend getting in touch with her because she definitely knows the ins and outs of the industry and, and she's really cool. She's really nice too. All right, thank you. So our next question is, what are some leadership slash job opportunities on campus? So um, I actually worked on campus at the Titan Shops and um, that's just one of the job opportunities, but there's many. Um, the Auxiliary Service Corporation actually um, hosts a lot of the or runs a lot of the um, of the campus dining options at Cal State Fullerton. And if you don't have a job and you're looking for a job, I would highly recommend working on campus because not only can you work and go to school in the same place, but you also make friends at um, your place of employment and it's just all around benefits. And I highly, highly suggest anyone to do it. Um, some job opportunities I've been given through campus is um, my freshman year, I took advantage of federal work study and with federal work study, you do have to find your own employment. And I did that through Titan Connection. I filtered out what I was searching for. So for example, I was searching for federal work study. So I used that as a filter and it gave me all the listings for federal work study opportunities through the campus. And through that, I was able to find something with America Reads and Counts, which is a tutoring service um, through the campus, but off campus. So for example, I was able to tutor at a local community center 
um, in Fullerton and it really gave me an experience of being able to help out um, Fullerton as a whole. And it was really impactful because it was my freshman year and I was getting to know the area. So it was just like really helpful to be able to do something like that for the community while being a freshman on campus. And then also being an orientation leader, that's sort of an, a job opportunity, but because you do get a scholarship for it, but it's more of a leadership um, experience. I agree. Titan Connection is huge. It's where you can find almost any job. Um, on campus or around campus, or even if just look in your area, you could just put your zip code and it'll find, help you find jobs. And it's also a great tool to use if you're offered federal work study through financial aid, but also a great um, leadership slash employment opportunity since I saw there's quite a, or at least a couple HHD, Health and Human Development or um, uh, public health majors. I, a great uh, job for that would be Titan Hut or Titanwell. Uh, if you haven't been on campus yet, you'll see them all the time. They're there like almost every day. Um, they're basically just, they are huts. They're like little, um, they just have their booths there and they're all in on campus and they're uh, informing students on uh, just different health options around um, uh, whatever. They change it every week. So it's a great tool for that. Awesome. Does anyone else want to answer this question? Okay, cool. So the next question is, how was your experience living on campus? And what would you, what would be some Tuffy's top tips? That's a tongue twister. <laughs> so I lived on campus my freshman year. I was in Elm Hall. And that was um, a really great experience because I had never like lived in OC before. I'm from the Coachella Valley. So it was super fun to just be able to live in OC. And I still love living in OC. Most of the time I'm here and I dread going back to the valley just because it's super hot over there. But um, living on campus has um, a lot of am amenities to it, as Cassandra was talking about in the presentation. There are study rooms on every floor and um, those are super helpful because if you're like me and you study like at random hours of the night, um, that's super helpful because they're 24 hours and you would find me like in the study room like at four maybe five in the morning just doing my work because i'm a procrastinator but yeah so that's something to take advantage of and also take advantage of the food spots that they provide in the presentation because you will get tired of the gastronome because you eat there every single day even if you have the five-day meal plan which i did take advantage of just eating off campus sometimes but also just take advantage of the fact that like it's right there for you after you study you could just head over there and eat, grab a bite to eat all right, would anyone else like to answer this question? Yes, I can go ahead and answer it as well. Um, living on campus was a great opportunity for me. I used from kindergarten to senior year of high school, I commuted to school. So having that first year of college to be able to just um, live on campus, have everything there was amazing. I had an 8 a.m. my first semester, so it was so nice to be able to come back, take a nap, and then be able to go to my next class in the comfort of my bed. I had a really nice mattress topper, so it was great. And then um, one of my top tips that I would say is that don't miss out on breakfast. It's probably the best at our school cafeteria, so definitely take advantage of that. Thank you. So our next question is, what are your favorite hangout spots? So this is going to sound a bit corny, but um, my favorite hangout spot on campus is actually North Polak Library. Um, this place, it just has helped me focus a lot more than I could focus at home. You know, the, the vibe and the energy at the library is just everyone's cranking out their essays, presentation, and studying. So, you know, that energy rubs off on you and you want to just crank out your essays and do the same amount of work. And I just really recommend anyone who struggles uh, studying at home to really give the Pollock Library a chance and go in there and try to get your work done. Um, I'll answer that one too. Um, so in the TSU underground level, there's a bunch of different things that, that you can do leisurely. Like there's a billiards room, there's a bowling alley, there's a little like miniature arcade, and then there's the pub. So me specifically, I like going to the billiard room. You can rent out pool sticks and the billiard balls and just, I think you can hang out for like a few hours renting the, the equipment. But um, that's where I like to go when I don't feel like studying and I need that little break. Um, and I met tons of cool people there. So yeah, low, lower level of the TSU is a place to be if you, if you want to do something that isn't study. <laughs> um, 
Awesome. Does anyone else want to answer this question? I'll also uh, answer it too. Um, I, you know, stress can definitely get to you during the semester, especially during finals week. So in order to kind of help myself out, there's a lot of tables outside um, on campus. And I really liked sitting on the tables. It was nice to just sit underneath some nice shady trees and just feel the wind and just kind of take some breaths and uh, kind of breaks up the monotony of sitting in class or sitting at the library every single day and trying to study. But yeah, definitely recommend uh, sitting outside sometimes. Also an underrated place to hang out, I feel like, apart from just working out, which is really social, especially because everyone's nice, is the SRC, the Student Rec Center. Uh, but also like chairs and outlets set up all over the place, even like in the basketball court, I see people, there's like outlets there, I see people just hanging out there with the laptops or even watching an intramural game uh, while doing some homework on the side. So that's a really great place. And also it's not, I've been to other gyms where it's really awkward, there's no music playing. So you just hear like grunting because people are like working out, pushing themselves and stuff like that. But there's like, there's also great music playing in the background and nine times out of 10, you're gonna see someone you know there too. Yeah, I study sometimes at the SRC just because I could be by myself too and um, I could be studying and then take a break and then work out and then go back to studying and then work out again. It's just, it, it makes it easier for me. Okay, now moving on to the next question, which is, does CSUF have any campus traditions? I got this one. It's my favorite. So when you get to Cal State Fullerton's campus, kind of by the education building, um, or the Child Adolescent Development Building. I'm not sure what it's called, but um, there's a huge like collapsed statue and it's of David and the statue of David, not just some guy named David. <laughs> and, um, so basically it's kind of like a rendering of the earthquake that happened at Whittier where he just fell and kind of collapsed everywhere. So a common tradition that students have is that they'll go up to the left foot, I believe, and rub in a circle or counterclockwise circle three times and that's it brings good luck for your exams so during exam time or midterm time or whichever uh, I recommend doing that <laughs> I've done it plenty and uh, there's also another tradition that we have at Cal State Fullerton which is uh, it, it's it goes around uh, finals week and it's a little run that we do and if you're, uh, it's a, just a celebration of finishing the finals. And if you're interested in partaking in this run, just ask around, ask upperclassmen what this run is and uh, just be, be there to celebrate and finishing your finals. Anyone else? Yeah, I would say the number one tradition on campus is reaching higher, because times reach higher. Yeah, <laughs> awesome. So that concludes our Q&A with the panelists, but Kayla, I'll give it all to you. Thank you. Yeah, the, um, those answers were all great. We do have a lot coming in in the Q&A. Thank you everyone for being so active in the chat and in the Q&A. Um, we have a lot of other questions that are answered there. I believe people can go and see which ones have been answered too if you're curious. Um, but one we have is about where's the best place to eat on campus, um, if the student union is the best place to eat on campus, so um, why don't you all go around and talk about um, what you think the best places are, what your personal favorites are. Uh, I could start. So um, I definitely recommend finding, you know, the places to eat are kind of scattered around campus, which is a good thing because if you need something quick before class starts or anything like that, um, you can always find a place. I recommend finding places that are really close to you, kind of on your on your way to things. But my favorite is definitely the Titan Student Union. That's usually where I uh, meet up with my friends and hang out uh, in between classes or anything like that. But yeah, I want to hear what everyone else has to say too. Well, I can grab the second part of that question that asks if we're going to have a coffee bean or in and out on campus. So we already have, I believe, five different, not different, but three and a half Starbucks on campus and then an Aloha Java. So I don't think there'd be a coffee bean and tea leaf just because we already have so many. Um, and in terms of in and out there's one a little further down Nutwood. So not totally on campus, a little bit of a walk if you want to drive. 
um, but it's definitely close enough to where you can go go grab some and you're good. I can also add to that question because I know there's a coffee bean that's across the street from um, um, Cal State Fullerton and it's right next to College Park. I go there sometimes to buy classes in College Park. It's really right by the freeway. You can't miss it. And then um, in terms of food, for me, it just depends on what I'm craving. If I, I, there's Starbucks is around the campus and I'm a sucker for Starbucks. So there's, since there's Starbucks everywhere around campus, I, I'm, I have access to that. But in terms of if I want, like, if I'm craving Panda Express or something, I go to the TSU. But if I'm craving like breakfast food or like some, you know, I, the gastronome has very good breakfast food. So I would always go to the gastronome for breakfast. And then, um, like if I'm just, it just really depends on what I'm craving, I think. But coffee is always just a standard for me. If you're looking for like a chain or like comfort food, I mean, the, the TSU is pretty good because it's Panda Express, there's Pyology, there's a uh, Hibachi San, which is like a Kogi place, and there's also a Carl Jr. on the other side of campus. And you can never go wrong with Starbucks, even though I'm not a coffee person. Those brownies are to die for. But, um, Right next to our human, or excuse me, the HSS building, the uh, humanities and social sciences, there's pretty much always a food truck there. And the food there changes pretty frequently. So I would definitely check that out in between the education classroom and uh, humanities social science building. Um, something I like to eat off campus, well, it's like right by the coffee bean, like right across the street from campus is flame broiler. Like that's like a kind of like a healthy alternative to like, you know like fast food but it's super good like I got super addicted to it during the winter break even after school finished like I would just go all the time but it's super good yeah and one of my favorite spots to eat off campus not on campus uh, it's just right next to college park as well next to Aloha Java and uh, flame broiler is uh, the pizza press I'm a big pizza fan and the pizza press just is it's quick warm fresh pizza and it won't disappoint well, why don't we have, I think there are several like health sciences majors and there's a question about being a bio major and the workload um, specifically for Carl. So if you want to go ahead and answer that one, you can do that too. Yeah. So hello everyone. What's up? All right. So um, basically when, when it comes to like the heavy workload and like, like living on campus, or not living on campus, but student life on campus and student life in general. Um, I would like to say that I feel like a lot of this has to come with your, um, priorities and some of your um, just like how you schedule your your schedule basically right um, you know sometimes you know a lot of classes especially like if it's STEM or just like any other classes you know it could be tough it could be challenging right everyone everyone has their own uh, challenge level and of course uh, for me personally um, it could be a lot it could be overwhelming but I think what what I do to minimize the heavy workload that I may have is um, just choosing when, you know, when to hang out with your friends, like specifically, or when to, when to study, like have a routine. Because if you don't have a routine, there's times where it's like, oh, I wanna, I should, I should study, but I'm hanging out with my friends. And you know, that's, if you wanna be successful on, on, in school, that's not, that may not be the best way to approach that. So I like to say that, yeah, I guess you have a, you, ha you can have a heavy workload, but you can make that better in yourself by working hard and, and making sure that you do have a schedule and you're consistent with it. But definitely, um, you know, that applies to everyone, not just a bio major, that applies to any other major. And, uh, you know, when it comes to eating, right, I always have that, I always have uh, an hour just for eating, right, just like relaxing just because, you know, that's important too. So, yeah. And then I'll, I'll probably answer a little bit more in depth in the, in the chat as well. But that's what's, I, guess, I, guess, I guess that's all I have to say when it comes to uh, the student life. Just also make sure you have a good balance too. You don't wanna have too much school, right? Yeah, awesome. I think a lot of that relates too to some of the things that we'll be talking about in our webinar a week from now. So next Wednesday about Academic Life 101. So we'll talk about um, workload in your classes, how to manage your time, making that balance like Carl was talking about, and um, relationships with your professors, all those sorts of things. So I would definitely tune into that one if you're curious about that. We'd love to have you there too. Um, are there any other questions that we can take uh, real quick before we sign off for the day. We don't want to keep people too long past our time and honor our time together. But if you do have any other questions, um, 
we would love to take those or you can reach out to us via any of the means up on the screen. So you can definitely follow us on our social media. We um, are very active on social media and we're also doing a lot of things in addition to these webinars. So we have a podcast that also does an occasional Twitch stream called Tea with Titans, I believe. Um, that's really fun. And some of the pro staff have been featured on a recent one. So you should definitely check that one out. <laughs> Um, so the podcasts, the Twitch streams, you can sign up for student discussion groups if you want to have more one-on-one -on -one conversation with, with current students and more orientation leaders. It's just orientation leaders, no pro staff that'll be there. Um, that link is also in our Instagram bio in and in the email you should have gotten last night. So check your email and let us know if you didn't get those links for some re reason. Um, and you can reach out to us via the orientation email up on the screen or on our website. Anytime you find one of us, I'm sure we'll be really happy to help you answer your questions because we're all here for you and we're really excited you're going to be new Titans. All right, so with, with that, um, I think we'll end right on time. Definitely, please feel free to reach out if you have any questions, okay? We really hope you enjoyed it. Definitely check out our other webinars. Let us know if there's something you want to hear about. Um, DM us on Instagram, send us an email, and we can be sure to include that. So. We're really, really happy you're here. Thank you. Thank you so much for being so active in the chat and answering or and asking all of your questions. We love that. Um, and we're here to answer any more that you have. So thank you. Thank you so much for joining us today. And we'll see you at the next one. Bye, everyone. Bye, everybody. Bye.